All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here on a Friday night, and I'm really glad it's Friday. I'm going to take vacation next week. I'm so excited about that. Another exciting thing is today is the sign up or kind of where you can go to the Spinnaker website and sign up to get information on the release of this new watch, this being the Bradner. Now, they contacted me just a couple weeks ago and said, hey, we've got a new one coming out. Want to get it out to you, get it on the channel so we can show the folks what's coming from us out there. And I was really excited because this is just a really cool, what we call a compression style diver. Now, one of the only uh, kind of what I'd consider affordable ones out there that I'm aware of before this is kind of the, uh, the Dan Henry. And I have looked at a Dan Henry, one of their chronographs. Uh, on the channel. It was a great watch, very cool watch. Uh, but I'm really excited about this because I think it offers a whole lot for the money. Now, like I said, you can go to the website, you can sign up. I'm going to leave a link and information down below. You can go to that website, give them your information. They'll give you a special code uh, just because you signed up for the pre, kind of the pre-order. You're not really pre-ordering it. You're just letting them know you're interested. Give them your email. They'll give you a special discount code. I'm also going to leave a 20% uh, discount code down below where if you use the code OFD20, when you buy one of these watches at checkout, you can get a 20% discount. Retail price on these on the website is going to be $285. They will be available uh, after the 20th of this month there at the website. So 6th through the 19th that you sign up and then they'll be available. So, all right, guys, let's dive into this watch. Now, let's talk about the name real quick here, the Bradner. Now, Hugh Bradner was a, uh, a diver and a physicist. He was actually hired by Oppenheimer during the Manhattan Project and he worked for that project during World War II. After that, he moved on uh, working and diving continually, actually consulted with a lot of the divers in Marshall Islands projects. And from that, he actually developed the, wet, the wetsuit, <laughs> what we know today as the wetsuit. So definitely a very important character in the world of diving out there, guys. So that just kind of gives you a little bit of a, a, you know, a background on the name and stuff. You've got an all stainless steel case construction here, guys, on this watch. You're looking at 40 millimeters from side to side on this watch. Uh, excuse me, 42. I said 40. It's 42 millimeters. You're looking at 50 millimeters lug tip to lug tip on this watch. It comes in at a hefty 14 millimeters of thickness, guys. Probably has to do something with the dome sapphire crystal and the, uh, you know, extended case back on this, the bubble case back. But it's not bad. It comes in actually at 13.8. Not too bad. Nicely curved lugs uh, make it fit around the wrist very well. And you have a 20 millimeter lug opening on this watch. So the reference number on this specific model, and I will say just like uh, Spinnaker usually does, they have a d bunch of different colorways coming. I know there's a blue dial, a green dial, and a couple in this kind of, I don't think it's really black. It's more of a, a tropic kind of grayish uh, brown dial on this. So this is the SP5057 dash zero one on this one so compression style diver and as you would uh, realize on those types of watch you do have this internal bezel working here on the inside very neat very nicely done now i'm going to try to get it close enough for you guys to see it here but the the detail work and the depth on this dial is just really really crazy impressive as a matter of fact i gotta shut it off of autofocus to try to show you guys but can you see how the indices on that bezel are raised all the way around there they are applied with Super Luminova. I'll get a loom shot at the end, and guys, that is a, a slight disappointment on this watch. It's not that great. I just don't think it's applied enough, uh, possibly. Now, it could be this is an early version that I've got here, and they may change that with the uh, full production models. I'm not really sure. You have applied indices on this dial all the way around there. Kind of a vintage color loom. Now, they do have a couple different loom colors also. I think there's this vintage style, and then there's more of a brighter green. The brighter green may be the uh, better loom to go with. I'm not really sure. This may be kind of more vintage, and it kind of looks that way, you know, when you're looking at it in the dark. So this is running a Seiko NH35, the standard workhorse movement of kind of the micro brand world out there nowadays. Uh, great movement. I mean, you've got hacking, hand winding capabilities. It's running at a modest 21,600 vibrations per hour, which is a good, uh, good movement rate for a sturdy workhorse watch. Like I said, hacking and hand winding on that 24 joules, and you do have a date complication there at that three o'clock position. Now, as far as the handset goes on this, it's very unique and nice looking. I guess you'd just call this like a standard stick or baton style hand there. And then this one, I'm not really sure what to call it, guys. Uh, if you guys know exactly what that's called, let me know. It does kind of look like a Chevy logo to me a little bit there. 
but nicely done. I like the way the hands are done. They're brushed on this model. I don't see any issues on this one per se. Dome Sapphire Crystal on this. They do not advertise any AR coating on that, so I guess you can go with that. The case is fully uh, brushed on this watch. It's done nicely. It's done professionally and done well. Now get a side look here and see if we can get this to focus on these crowns here. So as you guys can see, the main crown, which is a screw down crown, does have the Spinnaker logo there. And that's at about the four o'clock position. Then up here at the two o'clock position, you do have the crown, which is going to, you're going to use that to operate or to work your um, internal bezel, the compressor bezel, or not compressor bezel, but this, the style watch with that. So it's a beautiful watch. This one comes on this particular model. And, th and this is different on all the, the different watches out there, guys, as far as the colorways you get. This one happens to be on this red water resistant leather strap with the, the kind of tan stitching up here, nicely matching that vintage style loom there. Go ahead and show you guys the case back on this watch. It does have a display case back. You can see the NH35 movement, the uh, beaten away there. Nice, simple movement. You do have the Spinnaker decorated uh, rotor on this watch, which is very nicely done. Down there at the bottom, you can see the SP5057 Sapphire, 150 meters of water resistance, up to 500 feet, and all stainless steel construction. So, Cool watch, guys. Very neat watch. Now, like I said, they're going to be going for $285 here at the website. You can go over there and go ahead and sign up at the little sign up link I leave down below there and they're going to give you some kind of a special offer. Maybe they'll give you another 10% off over the OFD 20. I'm not sure. Maybe you get even 30% off. I'm not sure what they're going to give away, but they're doing something there. Uh, so definitely go look for that. See if you can get that deal. Use the code OFD20, of course, when you're buying one of these watches. If it's after the 20th of the month and you guys want one of these, use the code OFD20. Pick one of these up. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it, guys. We're going to get this watch, the Bradner, on the wrist, and we will get a loom shot to go out with, too. All right, guys, give me a sec. All right, so here we go, go guys. This is the 42 millimeter Bradner, the Spinnaker Bradner, on my 7-inch wrist. Fits really well with those curved down lugs like that, even at a 14 millimeters of thickness. It wears really, really comfortably on the wrist. I've actually had this watch for about four or five days, guys, so I have gotten to spend some wrist time with it. It's a really neat watch, definitely a looker. Uh, one of those watches I kind of catch myself staring at when I wear it and stuff like that. But very nicely done. Very uh, nice offering from Spinnaker, as usual. They've really kind of paid attention to detail. Now, I'm going to get a loom shot. And as I told you guys, on this particular model, I don't know if it's the vintage loom or anything like that. But it's not the best. It's not, you know, stunning or anything like that. But like I've said before, I think we kind of get spoiled by some of the big-time loom out there, guys. And uh, But I do wish, uh, I wish this had a little bit more glow to it. I do. So let's go ahead and uh, get a look at the loom on this watch to go out. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get some light on this bad boy and see what we can do. See if we can't get this to glow a little bit here. All right, so there you guys go. Now, it does have really good glow, especially on the bezel ring. One of the little disappointments, disappointments excuse me, for me is it looks like the, the hands are a little bit, you know, it's not as bright on the hands, and that always kind of bugs me. But overall, it really does look good. It looks cool. It glows at night. It doesn't last as long as, say, your Seiko or anything like that, but definitely a cool watch from Spinnaker, guys. Definitely go down to the links I leave below. Check out what they've got over there at the website. There's a lot of really neat divers' watches that they've done. I'll try to leave links to my previous Spinnaker videos down there in the description. So, All right, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. All right, thanks, guys.